All right, here we are, uh, back with another classic edition of our Patreon Creator Chronicles. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, I'm here in LA. And I'm here in New York. But it's it's not gonna be like that forever. People oh, no. are starting to get vaccinated. Traveling is starting to open up again. I'm halfway there. That's right. It's like, we're starting to brainstorm ideas we can shoot in person again, which is kind of exciting. IRL. I thought it'd be fun to like think about what cool stuff we can do or like your favorite parts about shooting in person that you've missed while we're shooting remotely right now. I feel like I've missed, really, I've just missed like showing up to set like 15 or 20 minutes late, like texting, yeah. texting the DP and, like, and being like, I right. can't find parking <laughs> or like, what was the address again? Um, Rolling in with like a coffee and jet lag and yeah. kind of yeah. like... <laughs> Just, I was gonna say like being face to face and like being able to shake hands or hug at the end of the day, like feeling that human contact yeah. is something that's like super being exciting. Being kind of like me. rushed out of sorts, maybe even like <laughs> just straight up coming from a flight, like long line at the rental car place, Why traffic are you? on the way. I'm a little this sweaty. Is a I'm a little jet This is a hypothetical. This is Just flying like the night jittery. before. It doesn't matter. It's I haven't talked like to anyone that. in like nine hours because I was on a flight, so I'm like weird at having yeah. a conversation. In this, and yeah, in this hypothetical, you can fly the night before yeah. first class, so you got like a full Lab night sleep in a hotel. Lab gets directly to the chest, so it's like pulling on my hair a little bit. I'm sitting on the mic pack, so my back hurts. Um, it's cool. And I have It'd be cool to like meet, ha yeah, have crew again, like over you know, be able to like interact with people yeah. like who are helping us out shooting the right. stuff. So it's oh, not that's just, like talk, like yeah, Zoom. making small talk with um, with like an AD or something. And it, but, don't think of it as like making small talk. Like, just like I don't conversing, know, like I don't know his name, but I don't know another if he knows that, and it's a little <laughs> stilted and awkward, and I don't know how yeah. to get out of it. So I say I have to go to the bathroom, but the bathroom is like I right next to where we're having the conversation, and someone is in there. So it's like. Now we're having this half combo where I have yeah. my phone out and I'm an asshole. <laughs> Actually, so. um, let's. I think we should stay on Zoom forever. I think we should just do the remote thing for a while. That works because I me. feel like <laughs> you, <laughs> you're not even looking for. You can't even like fantasize about the exciting. That stuff. works so, like, me. I worry about what would happen <laughs> yeah. on the actual day. Like you're definitely going to be let down. It's going to be. A I miss crafty. I would get like a club <laughs> sandwich. I would text someone my order. Yeah. You that can get that good. now. You can could get really? a sandwich now. Yeah. I can get a sandwich? I can take out an app and order a sandwich. Okay, I have to stop Why recording. Do that? I have to stop recording this video, but I can yeah, get a sandwich. Yeah, you do. Second. All right. Later, everybody. I once did stand-up at a battle of the bands mm -hmm. because I was funny. Yeah. And I said, stand-up is easy. I've seen stand-up. I can do it. And it went so poorly that I haven't done stand-up since. <laughs> was, <laughs> was it 14 was it emotionally years ago. scarring? Yes. You th really? I was like, oh. I'm not funny. <laughs> Did you? <Huh. laughs> that went poor. Obviously, nobody you, reacted. There was no part of you that that, that, that like you know uh, justified it in your head. Like that was just a bad place to do stand up. People yeah. were there to see their friends' bands, and I tried stand up, and it was a wrong. T my timing was bad, but I'm okay. My timing was bad, but the in terms of when the jokes happened. So you, you like. Walked off stage. I was like, <laughs> wow. That was eye-opening. Walked right into an accounting class. I'm like, well, I guess I should be doing this with my life. <laughs> Do you remember any of the jokes that you told? Yeah, I think I told you this. I, had, I definitely had a video of it that my friend started to take and stopped because it was going so poorly. But the I, first, God, can you find that video? No, it would be mortifying. Well, I would put that on Patreon for $100,000 each. Uh, <laughs> what was one of the jokes? It was... Uh, oh yes, I think I told you this joke. It was my impersonation of a deaf rock star. <laughs> I can't hear you. No, seriously, I can't hear you. It's not bad, but <laughs> definitely didn't play well on the day. And then there was one about uh, how I live in LA, but I drive to college up north, and that the drive usually takes six hours, but the way I drive, five hours and 58 minutes. That's not terrible. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> People wanted to hear music. <laughs> they didn't want my nervous Jew ass up there waxing comedic <laughs> or philosophical because I started questioning how well. I'm, I'm feeling nervous just conjuring up. There's how, like a how deep big recess. Was the crowd? It was too big. It was too big. It was like 800 people. That's. <laughs> <laughs> so when there's 800 people in a huge auditorium, they're all right. here to hear music. That was music. your first time? 
First Were you and nervous only. nervous before? Yes. <laughs> of course I was nervous. There was... <laughs> <laughs> I remember my friend was organizing it. Why did you accept it. this job? <laughs> so my friend was organizing it. And he's like, oh, in between the music, while like people are setting up for the bands, let's get some comedy. Terrible time. I have a funny friend. Right. Uh, and then, <laughs> oh my God, so mortifying. I went to like a planning meeting about the show <laughs> where he's like wanted to vouch for me. And then there, he was like, then my buddy Amir will do stand up. And then they were like, can you like give us a few samples of what you'll do? I'm like, basically, I'll talk about this. I don't know. The, the jokes haven't like been fleshed out yet. I was too nervous to even perform it at the meeting. <laughs> I fucked up so bad. <laughs> I was nervous before, terrified when it started, and sad when it ended. <laughs> there, was no rede- there was no redemption. It never ended well. <laughs> Did you, you knew the jokes when they asked what they were going to be, right? Yes, and I was too scared to say them for fear of them not doing well. I'll do something about driving. <laughs> It'll be like, kind of like, but not really this, because this isn't funny unless you guys like it. It's six hours, but the way I drive is five hours, 58 minutes, but I'll change it. <laughs> like The way I deliver it on the day will be good. Was that a left? Was that a left? Uh, no, sorry, I'm eating a chip. <laughs> All right, right, right. <laughs> Uh, it was bad. Anyway, don't do stand-up. No, 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 hold on. I have more questions. <laughs> I met this girl in my car a while back. She's an act of Congress. Necessary and proper. Okay? Very attractive. This and- was written to us by a spam bot, but... <laughs> very attractive and very smart. She told me that she... Very early that she spoke French from Morocco. And since I'm a pathological liar, I said, oh yeah, same here. So she blew her whole load of French onto me and I jokingly responded with the only French I knew, je ne sais pas, which means I don't know. And she bought it as if I was joking and laughed it over. And then we switched back to English. It's been four months and we've been dating for three of them. I told her that I'm a pathological liar and she doesn't know that I don't speak French. I even learned a little bit, but mostly from a couple movies. I'm very lucky that all our mutual friends also think I speak French. Every time she says something in French to me, I just <laughs> I just respond with a laugh. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Normally, this wouldn't be a problem. Uh, normally, this wouldn't be a problem. But she wants me to meet her parents in a couple weeks. <laughs> this is a fucking sitcom. <laughs> Who only speak French. So when, so when this happens, I think I might want to be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty good at How miming. do I learn French? <laughs> <I'm> pre- <laughs> this can't be real. I'm pretty good at miming. So, <laughs> so, they <laughs> so they won't hear me speak at all. But I might not be able to pull it off for an entire dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I want a backup plan. He shows up looking like a mime. (laughs) Je ne sais pas. (laughs) Everyone cracks up. How do I fix this? I feel like I may have dug myself into a hole here. There are a couple of mistakes on my part. Yeah, you think so? Mistakes, lies. I really do like this girl and wouldn't want to violate her trust or anything, which is why I'm looking to you guys who are both actors. So I assume you know what to do. Please help me. Love Jacques. I don't want to violate her trust. I'm looking to you actors because you would know how to help me fake being. F- she knows you don't speak French. <laughs> you will, she you knows. only said I don't know and laughed. And you, she knows you don't speak French. You don't have to worry about that. You fucking moron. <laughs> if I am ever a musician, I'm going to beg for a standing O. I was thinking, well, I mean, that's a little sad, but I think I'm going to become more of a musician. I think like the art that we do is cool, but it's like mostly comedy, which isn't like that's entirely comedy. Yeah, um, well, I think I'm gonna get more into like music and tunes and that kind of shit, <laughs> like funny, silly songs. Like I'm a eating yogurt no. today. <laughs> I mean, that's I I don't love I'm a eating yogurt today because yeah. it's not like it's not hot like seeing somebody in the club or even just like. <laughs> emo like getting lost in the woods with someone you know like so you want to go for like comedy just to completely like sexy music yeah kind of like a father john misty meets a drake or something um but they never like, did comedy yeah well drake did acting and father john misty did um music probably from the get-go but i could probably i could <laughs> dip in and do that i could also paint there's something like <laughs> or like photography. You're already moving on. I don't know how to sing is all. <laughs> yeah. So how, how to... hard could it be to take a photo? 
<laughs> that one I'll is. I'll do photography. Okay, but you're still not going to get I'll like, be, like a crowd. moody about it. Huh? Yeah, you're not going to get like an audience or a following taking I photos get, of people. I could do like an artist. Well, if I, especially if I do like an opening where I have like a gallery of like these portraits, and like I also. A, What's an example of a gallery of a portrait okay, or I, well, an artist that is like a portrait? Yeah, I um, I would go to like an old folks' home and take like really, really like stunning uh, photos, like HD of like the you can of do those that. fucking geezers yeah. or whatever in there, and <laughs> yeah. like learn their dumbass <laughs> life stories. And I would like make a little um, <laughs> quote about like the bullshit whatever they did. And then, like, it would feel really emotional because it's like, right, everyone's like, yeah. oh, that could be my grandma. But she's like, did some other stupid shit that I would write about. Um, why, why do you want to harass old people instead of do comedy? No, I'm taking photographs of them. But you call no them dumbasses, geezers, and stuff was like that. You visit your grandparents. Uh, my grandparents all passed. I'm sorry to hear that. No, you're not. How'd you're you smiling. Like How'd <laughs> you like a memorialized at my art show? Did I mention there was going to be an accompanying album? Did I mention there would be an accompanying album? You can't take photos of my grandfather. He passed away before I was born. If there's born. a photo that exists that someone else took that you really liked, and I could just even like... What, take a photo of it? it? No, I wouldn't... I didn't scan it? A new fo- a, if I could scan a photo of your grandfather, blow it up, make up something that he did that sounded really cool or heroic or humble or neat. He, or, did, he did a lot of stuff. You don't have to make it up. Okay. He helped build towns in israel okay before so would, it was even a country so i would write like um, you know, yeah <laughs> don't worry about what you I would, would write. have to give him a quote <laughs> otherwise it's just like a, this guy built a fucking town now i'll work no, on the quote you, you don't have to come up with shit or I'll make, make shit up, up the quote because otherwise it's gonna sound so stupid it's just gonna be like this guy helped to do a town no <laughs> i didn't actually, say actually that. that's not bad no no quote, it's, yes it I is bad to do this a guy town. helped do a town that doesn't <laughs> so yeah it doesn't and say what he did and white yeah, it could be it, with like a, a lot light, of the photos. With like are. a lens flare type thing, almost like a like a flash bulb went off. Like it was an early photo. Why? <laughs> what would that give you that comedy <laughs> hasn't provided? Like what are you hoping to get out of this I think radical career shift? You were um, gonna do music for like probably well, 30 I still might seconds. do an album release at the same night as the show, it's like the gala or something. I guess I just like would in, be interested in having status and respect from um hot people. You never really see like <laughs> A super super hot uh, bunch of people at a comedy show. It's all like comedy nerds, yeah. And like, they're not sexy to me. I think that like, <laughs> like, does Emily Ratchinowski go to an improv set? No, I don't know. Who she that goes is. to a fucking gala, <laughs> and she would go to an album release party, especially if I'm doing it. <laughs> well, I'd have to have that. <laughs> You're not a musician. You're not a musician. You're not hot. You don't have hot fans or friends or followers. And don't fucking take a picture of my deceased grandfather and say he did a town. Because <laughs> that won't get you. Who was it? Emily Ratajkowski? Ratched to go to a fucking is, yeah. gala, you said? Where yeah, to, they're my debuting opening, your... <laughs> Where I have a fucking acoustic guitar and I'm doing an acoustic set of my you, songs. You can't. You can't do that. You can't do that. You're going at it the wrong way. It's usually Watch like me. artists have like a, Watch me. They have like a message Watch to say. Me. <laughs> and okay. then insects next time doing, we do a podcast. Fans. Next time we do you a podcast. You watch the hot fans and you're trying next to time we do one of these. Next somehow. time we do one of these yeah. and, and it's time for us to promote our whatever shit. You're promoting your dumbass Twitter. I'll be promoting my fucking <laughs> gallery opening. Okay. And I'll be promoting my album. That's not comedy album. That has a fucking song called The Black Void on it. Why? Okay. Because that's this fucking <laughs> emotional thing. The Black Void. And then, like, I did a town on the back. You did a what? I did a town. <laughs> I did a town. <laughs> on the back of the CD. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? I got into a really bad car accident on the way here. <laughs> yeah. Okay? All right. So... <laughs> the little frazzled is all. My life flashed before my eyes, and all I saw was a bunch of fucking UCB shows. You barely do that. 
You barely do UCB I shows. I go to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go to improv. You want to go from going to improv to creating an album. Or doing a town. And a hot release party. Or doing a town. Yeah. And that's what you got out of your near-death experience. That I'm assuming you caused. Yeah, I caused it. Yeah. <laughs> you were tweeting while driving and you rear-ended someone. <laughs> I was tweeting about an album idea. Yeah. What, did, what would you do if somebody... What, uh, wanted money from you. I'd vent with them instantly. Two hundred dollars. Leave me the fuck alone, though. <laughs> now here's Fine. the cash. Here's... Get out of my face, jackass. What tough guy? I'll give you your money. Just get the fuck out of here. Unless you want more, and then you scram. Yeah. Here's three hundred. Peace be with you. Keep the change, but take your dumb ass <laughs> away from my town, and don't come back now. You hear? <laughs> Unless you want a little more money, in which case Venmo requests me from afar. Don't do Here's it around me. Here's a thousand dollars. Keep my parents' name out of your mouth. <laughs> and just in case you need it, I'll write down their bank info, their routing number, and their account number. And you can set up a wire transfer recurring if you want, you little rascal. But if I see you take one more dime than, let's say, 40 grand... <laughs> Your ass is grass, and, and I'm going to call the cops. don't take it all at once, otherwise they'll notice and shut you out. Sing! <laughs> uh, all right, last question. Okay. Yes. I hate <laughs> the peace Welcome sign dab to... above your head, above the eyes. Welcome to Incorrect. If I Were You, the only video advice podcast on the internet hosted by a host. You can please who's stop gonna dab dabbing. throughout the entire episode. Really? What do you think the record is? How will you... For long as dab... It doesn't matter what the record is because you won't be able to read the emails mm. and you have to click around on your computer. <laughs> I can do that. No, you can't. One second. I'll just do it with my elbows. You are immediately <laughs> illustrating the fact that you cannot. One second. And now you stop dabbing. Is it still a dab? <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not a dab. One second. It's not even close to a dab. <laughs> hold on. There's no need to hold your hand like that because it's not a dab. <laughs> You've undabbed. No. All right. It's like you can't even find the dab again. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. It's it's tough with the mic arm, too. <laughs> yeah. The, the problem is I have to do the peace sign. You don't need to put your neck so far <laughs> Into your shoulders. I'm retreating because <laughs> I'm shy. You are shy, and you should be. You know how kids feel shy and they hide behind like their mom's legs? Yeah. So I'll feel shy as an adult. And put your face into your neck? Yeah, I'll sort of retreat Turtling. like a turtle. Yeah. yeah, and then I'll dab or I'll nervously laugh to myself. It's weird to, to do a meek dab. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry to bother you. <laughs> yeah, like an excuse me dab. Yeah, excuse me dab. Uh, you well, try to talk to somebody at a bar, but they don't want to talk to you, and you're like, "Oh, apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realize you came here with someone." Sorry, I'm so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such Dabbing a weirdo. <laughs> such a spaz. Walking out the front door in a dab, needing to go to the side so you can squeeze through. I accidentally hail three cabs. <laughs> <laughs> the dab cab, taxi dab. Do you listen to podcasts? When you're not commuting? No. Do you ever listen to podcasts at home? Sometimes if I like really if I'm into a podcast, I will like continue listening like while I'm preparing dinner. There was another time when I like pulled my back and I took a long bath mm -hmm. and I listened to a podcast in the bath. Yeah, that's cool. And this is a video podcast, so if you want to, you can watch me <laughs> listen to a podcast in the bath, because that's happening right now. Yeah. Oh, you're saying you're currently in a bath. I'm in a bath. So you're not even listening to a podcast. We you're are the cogs from Minority Report <laughs> recording in a bath. So face up in a bath, up to our ears. In milk. Eyes closed, shaved head. Predicting murders. Mouth open podcast. That's the fucking point of minority podcast or uh, sorry minor, <laughs> minority my report? new podcast about the minority report where they like they just the cogs is that what they were called precogs the yeah. precogs they like there were only three of them in the world yeah and they like were people that could predict murders uh -huh. so they put them in a big fucking pool <laughs> and then the police would stop the murders 
<laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> so how did the movie turn out so awesome? It was well, it's like the future is cool. It's like there's technology that does all this crazy stuff. Yeah. But all of the technology is at the root of like some weird alien. That's right. I don't technically three weird aliens. I would have liked to be in the boardroom during the pitch. Uh, so you, which side of the ch- like couch are you on? Are you like on the pitching side, or are you like? I'm with it? Tom Cruise. <laughs> I showed up with Tom. He's not attached. We commuted yet? together. Yes, he is attached. And when you're driving with Tom, Tom, what do you say to that? Oh, like he, you have his ear. Yeah, you think you have Tom's ear. I do have Tom's ear, and I have his heart. <laughs> and, and when you're driving to the this pitch meeting, you and Tom, you guys listening to a podcast. I've got my earbuds in, seat fully reclined, eyes closed. Tom is telling me when to turn and where to stop. (laughs) That sounds so familiar. I came up with it myself. Thank you guys so much for watching, tuning in to another ad-free bonus Thursday video episode of our show, If I Were You. Right, ad-free. And you didn't sell any ads this time? So I I didn't sell any ads, but there is a, a small wrinkle that came up since recording last, I did sell an ad. So you said you lied. Your first sentence was a lie. I didn't sell any ads. And then you described an ad that you sold as a wrinkle. <laughs> so here's the wrinkle. I emailed you the copy. So they emailed me the copy, and they didn't want me to read it. They wanted to, for it to come to you. I thought I'd surprise you on the day with the ad copy for an ad that I sold. It's in your email box. I just sent it to you. What is so this? So this is ad... That I sold. You sold I haven't read ad. the copy either. You so haven't like, read this the... is us experiencing the copy together. But I'm curious to see how you put your own spin on it. Keep in mind that we're both getting paid for this. So this we're is not both? like a, a thing that I'm trying to like slide on, <laughs> slide under the cover. Okay, so you forwarded this email, uh, all lowercase, ad read. <laughs> yeah. I guess literally three minutes ago. So maybe as, as the theme song and was don't going. And do, don't put it in your own voice. You said you were curious to see what my these spin are, on it these was. These are verbatim, not talking points, but a script. So you said, first of all, you said you didn't sell an ad. Mm. Then you said the wrinkle was that you sold an ad. <laughs> then you said you wanted me to read it to see my spin. And then you told me to read it verbatim yeah. and to not put it in my voice. So if we keep it verbatim, we get the cash. Plastic. Do you think plastic furniture for $15 a piece is a steal? Do you think it's a good idea? I don't. You sure you didn't write this copy? I didn't write Yeah, I didn't write it. That's interesting where it's going so far. Okay. I make more important things at my disposal, like a 3D printer or party snacks that are affordable and gluten free. Okay, that's interesting. This is good. This is good so far. <laughs> Now, now I know what you're thinking. You certainly don't, because the next sentence says, Summer is here. It's time for a meal delivery service that ships you food right to your door. Right? Wrong. Oh. What is this an ad for? <laughs> well, I guess he's getting there. How about a website or domain for affordable prices? <laughs> How about not? This is not an ad for any. It's so far into the ad, and we don't know what it is. Now I know what you're thinking. Get to the point already. Yes, that time you did. Okay, okay. Let's start with the coupon code, shall we? Why? JA Patreon for 4% off all gross orders. Intrigued? Keep listening. (laughs) So the code is JA Patreon, which I see now is actually Japatreon, which Mm. isn't great. 4% off all orders. (laughs) Intrigued? Keep listening. Wine. Who says no to a fucking box filled to the brim with bottles that are full to the ass with wine? Check out... No way. I guess... Check out URL to come for more information. They're not even wanting to provide a URL. Keep reading. If we don't have a site set up, just leave this part, just leave this part out. It's never too early to build intrigue. Check out. That's interesting. No, it's not interesting. Cool. So thank you for cool? that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Fuck you for making me do that. You ever go for the distance, but like as you're finishing peeing, it's starting to, starting the you know the stream is getting shorter. Yeah. So you have to just like lean really far over the toilet. So you go hand against the wall, feet are as far back as possible, almost what? like, 
uh, like you know uh, a forty five degree angle, uh-huh. <laughs> like like a right triangle where your body is the hypotenuse exactly, and you're pissing into the toilet. So you're pissing. It's like not even arc anymore. It's more like straight down. Yeah, full drop. Because that's the way to go. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll stand really far away, like you do. Yeah, and I'll, it's going really far because this is maximum <laughs> strength. I need to pee, and then as it starts to wane, I'll cut myself off. Zip it up, Whoa. and then as I'm washing my hands, I'll finish my business. In the, in your pants? In my pants, yeah. That's pretty good. But I actually, <laughs> you have me beat. I got you beat there. <laughs> okay, let's because see I it. walk into the bathroom yeah. having to go number one. Yeah, you know, take a take like a, a piss like a racehorse. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you know? like, like you're building up for hours and hours. Yeah, drinking like water. I can barely hold it anymore. Like it's a pissing contest almost. Um, so I I remove my pants mm-hmm. entirely. Yeah, um, and I put them. Like on my arms I for see. some reason, for no reason, <laughs> no reason at all. For no so reason, like belt. My, yeah, so Where's like my belt? pants are like there. Is your are you belting? Through, no, no belt. The it's like undone. It's almost like I tried to put my pants on as a shirt. Yeah, and it's and, like belt is sort of loose around your elbows. Yeah, and this will make sense in a moment. But then I, so then I lie back on the ground. Have you, have you ever done the yoga pose, happy happy baby? Uh, I've never done. You yoga, sort of like actually. so you're on your back. Yeah, you have your legs legs up. over yeah like you try over to your like, head. like human pretzel yourself like your head. bring your feet by your ears your pants are still on your arms my <laughs> pants are on my arms and my so this this um brings the crotch of my pants kind of right into my face you're almost tub my girling yourself what's that you're almost tub girling yourself yeah essentially yeah and then i'll pee <laughs> then i'll pee onto my face but what's happening is the pee is going onto the pants and soaking through the pants <laughs> so onto what? my face so i'm being waterboarded by my own by my own piss this is on, in my pants. This is in the bathroom? This is in your bathroom. <laughs> this is in your bathroom. Okay, so your pants on your arms, water yourself with your own urine. The piss is going onto your pants and onto your face. Yeah, then I, I will, when I'm finished, I will, <laughs> I will stand up, chuckle to myself, kind of like... <laughs> Like Tom Cruise last, <laughs> like he did something goofy, <laughs> like he did something silly, the equivalent of like him yeah. unable to open a pistachio. Uh-huh. And then I, <laughs> and I go to, I turn on the sink, I go to put some soap in my hand, and that's when I do a Fonzie. <laughs> what? Like why? Who needs it? <laughs> Who needs? I don't need this shit. Yes, you need it the most because there's piss on your face. And then I walk hands. out with the sink running. And then what's what's going on with your the pants? Do you have They're back on. Them? They're back on. I put the pants back on, and that was when I do the Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then your face. And then the face is covered in piss. I go to wash, Fonzie. <laughs> Fonzie what? Fonzie what? Fonzie like you know with a comb like oh no no he doesn't you do know? that. He does. He goes, hey. Hey. Yeah. Sure. So that's <laughs> okay. And you're leaving the bathroom covered in your own piss. Sink still running. Pants still on. Pants back on. Tom Cruise. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> no soap. Fonzie. Hey. No soap. Fonzie. Hey. <laughs> and then you hit a jukebox, but instead of like it starts to play, you just sort of break a jukebox. Sprain <laughs> your wrist. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Ah, shit. Ah, I ah, felt like a... Bone sticking out. <laughs> hey. Uh, all right, so that's one option. Did you know that... Uh, we can talk about this. I want to talk about this on the show. Jake did something recently that made me hit him a lot. Hit him? Yeah, like I snapped. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, can you not imagine that? Can you guess what... You're not going to mm. be able to. But there's oh. something that he did that made me so mad that I hit him over was and over. It, was it domestic or out in the public? It was out in public. <laughs> That's a great question because it it actually happened twice, once domestically and then the other one out and about, and I, he, I lost it. Did he say something bigoted? No, it was not anything that he said. It was something that he <laughs> did to me that um, felt that sent this shockwave throughout my entire system, and I felt like I had to hit him a lot. Did he tickle you? He it was close to tickling me. That's that's a good. It was good sort guess. of like a Big Brother thing. Yeah. Oh, you noogie. Close, close, getting really closer. Um, pinched his bum. Oh, even you're 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 inches away at this oh. point. <laughs> I might I might pass. I washed his asshole. He he pants to me, and I was wearing gym shorts, so like you know loose drawstring yeah. shorts, and he pulled, yanked it down to my ankles in one fell swoop, and I was just a uh, 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 hairy legged. In his in this my friend's living room <laughs> with my underwear and, and no one really the... saw though it was a and oh, nobody one saw. person saw yeah and oh. we laughed ah, ha, 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 look at the mirror <laughs> so that was the that first much. instance that was the first instance the then first an hour instance. later we're walking around L A Jake he while I was walking away from him 
pulled down my pants again all the way down to my ankle. So I was just in the street in my underwear. The thing I would take you to task about, Jake, is that it was just too close to the first time. Yeah. Well, he was yeah. just going to... For humor. I, I think one of the things that triggered to me was like, I have to do something or else he's just going to keep doing it. Imagine if someone yanked off your pants in the street and laughed. Like, how, what are you supposed to do? I'm proud of you. You stood up for yourself. It was a lesson. Did... Um, did you laugh at all while it was happening? Did you have any of that like, ha ha ha, while you hit him? Uh, we were both smiling, but it was a nervous <laughs> smile. I was like, oh shit, what's going to happen now? Yeah, yeah that's that's <laughs> terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry and good luck to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bend over and let me sniff your butthole. <laughs> what if I was six, but I was with somebody for five years? <laughs> then you were 11 by the time it ended. It's not that serious then, right? <laughs> Did you have a fucking girlfriend of five years? I was years? engaged as a first grader. That can't be bonding. <laughs> that couldn't have been binding. I got a ring. As you were six? Yeah. <laughs> you engaged... I wasn't six when I got engaged. I was six when we started dating. I was eight and a half (laughs) when I asked her to be with me. And she said yes. Yes. (laughs) And when did you get married? We called it off (laughs) because we were too young. We didn't have our wits about us. Yeah. When we were nine, we were like, this is insane. (laughs) We have to date other people. (laughs) Yeah. In second grade, you decided to see other people. We were just like, "We we need to experience life on our own. As fucking, like, we're, you're going to camp this summer. <laughs> right. And, like, you're eight and a half. This is insane. <laughs> right. Like, you're a third grader at eight. You're yeah. a fourth grader at nine. You want to see the world. I want to see the world. <laughs> as a fourth grader. As a fourth grader. Okay, so fifth grade rolls Can't around. Be down. Fifth grade rolls around, you're like, hey. You're just dating around. Yeah. For fifth grade, I, I, did like, uh, I did a lot of, like, soul searching. Um, I got my, I got my shit right. I got my shit together. What was, yeah. So what happens in sixth grade? You feel like you're ready to settle down. And sixth you're grade, 11. I, I felt like I had done enough independently that I was ready to meet Mrs. Wright. But then I got braces and I realized that I could jack off. And I was like, never mind. My life's going to be this now. And that was from age 11 till, till now. <laughs> so you're like, I, just, I need to settle down. I can jerk off, and now that's 23 years. Yeah. And now you're married for real, though. Exactly right. And I finally stopped fapping. It's, I'm sorry to hear that, by the way. <laughs> All of that. Yeah. I want to tell her how I feel and that I never stopped liking her, even when I found an interest in other women. Do you think I should send the following text? <laughs> Great. So this, this this question is a yes or no. <laughs> That's right. Hey, I want you to know some things, and I want to try to make th- some things clear. I can understand why you wouldn't want to be around someone who's moody. I don't think I am. And if I was, <laughs> then I think you need to be more understanding and forgiving. Oh, I wow. do. <laughs> I do get very excited and happy when I'm around you, or even just thinking about you. I do like you very, very much. And I never got over you from a million years ago. (laughs) I think you're the best. (laughs) And I have never and will never meet or be able to be with someone of your incredibleness. I think that you are too insecure for (laughs) You're the best. And here's my big problem. I think that you're too insecure for your own good. And that needs to stop. This is all one text. <laughs> and that needs to stop completely. <laughs> oh. It ke- keeps going. Um, I know you've probably had a million guys say this kind of stuff. No. And they've probably <laughs> said it and been a million times better. But... <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> but I need to. <laughs> He's such a bad writer. (laughs) (laughs) I can't even continue. 
Would you rather have a photo of my asshole on your phone like that, where people can't tell if it's yours or my ass, or would you rather have a picture of your asshole on my phone? Where people couldn't tell if it was yours or mine? Yeah. I think yours. Because my everyone asshole would, on your phone? Everyone would believe me if I said it was yours. yours. Like, I, It's not like I, someone would be like, no, man, that's your asshole. I would just be like, that's Amir's asshole. Yeah, I but they would, would they be like, why the hell do you have a picture of his asshole? He put it there. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Delete I'm it. <laughs> no, I don't know how. It's a fucking you would try. you rather shit. <laughs> so you're saying I'd rather have a picture of an asshole on my phone as long as it's not my I don't want a picture of my asshole in the wild. <laughs> I'd rather have any asshole on my phone than my asshole. I'm the out. same. I'd rather have my m- picture of my asshole on your phone because that way my my phone is clear of the holes. Interesting. There's no anus on my phone. I guess if it's like just the hole. No, you don't. You can't change your fucking mind. Take a picture of my grundle and make it your lock screen. <laughs> my grundle. Because <laughs> it has to be taint, hair, rectum. You're changing the rules now. <laughs> it has to be your home and or lock screen. <laughs> that's, that's, that's your, you're making additions. That's an absolutely an addition. It's an amendment. All right, fine. Let's call the whole thing off. Okay. The All right. game is called Hogwash or Haloon. That's how the game goes. You're okay. only allowed to see either. Yeah. If you say we anything else. We know the rules of Hogwash or Haloon. <laughs> it's a fucking known game. We've all, all right, played Hogwash st- or Haloon. We're, playing, <laughs> we're about to start playing. <laughs> okay. We're the, playing starting way, now. Any any sound that's not Hogwash or Haloon, you're out. Okay. Right. And, and nobody Smiles can call are fine. The, yeah. Okay, ready? Smiles are fine. Ready? Three, two, one. Hogwash. Haloon. All right, Thank you guys for two. having me. Down to us two. We both you just lost. Jake's. No, I did not. You just laughed hysterically. No, Jake was laughing. That was the end of that round. I would. No, I was eliminated. So I'm. It's you guys in the is, in the this final battle. This one's for a hundred dollars. Okay, ready? Hagwish. Hey, yeah. Hogwash. Hoden. Hogwash. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I won the first game of Hogwash versus Haoons. I think you lost. <laughs> Bonus round. Are you crazy? Just Haoons. <laughs> Haoon? Haoon only. Haoon ne- only. I've never seen this played before. I'm so tired. I haven't slept in so long. All right, ready? Ready? Just Haoons. Haoons only. Just me and Amir. Haoons only. Ready? What? You're <laughs> ready to record whenever you are. All right. I just don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I feel like whatever I do hat wise, you're. I'm just trying to get my hat situations <laughs> like sorted. I think I'm good now. Maybe I'll. I might just do. <laughs> There's no way you thought of that. I did. Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. There's no way you wanted to do the rally, rally caps. caps. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, you're coming into the rally cap? Yeah. That's going to be you? This is me this episode. Unless it's not going to stay on. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Do your own shit. Oh, my God. You suck. By the way, Jamba Juice was basic as shit. My smoothies are insane. R- Jamba juice, fine. What it you think you think that your recipes are what's gonna differentiate yes, you. exactly. So basically okay. like the what you're getting from my smoothie store is so unique that you can't help but talk to your friends about it or write about it. What are you getting? What's what's on the menu? Give me a couple smoothies. Easy. Sure. Blue corn moon. <laughs> That's a name. That's just of a smoothie. <laughs> That's blue spirulina corn. Bananas, cheese curds, peanut butter, granola, <laughs> sounds cacao nibs. Actually. It sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, that's blue corn mode. Okay, so it has basically, it's got a cacao nib. That's the chocolate taste. It's got peanut butter. It has cheese curds and it has corn. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I was fixing my car. <laughs> you you fixed it. Yeah, the everything was like 
the whole block, like the power chain warranty was all fucked up. <laughs> the warranty was fucked up or the car was <laughs> fucked up? The warranty like triggered this problem in the finances of everything. And then I started checking the oil. <laughs> Everything was expired from my credit card yeah. to the bank statements that they need to like I charge like me for had, that shit. Yeah. Your issue didn't have anything to do with the car. It was a fiscal, <laughs> yes, a fiscal issue. My payment yeah. bounced, and then I'm like, at right. this point, let me just check the, the warranty, wiper fluid. Right. Okay, and did you check the wiper fluid? <laughs> I tried to, but the thing like clipped my head because they have to <laughs> so like nothing's going your way. Not today. You're destitute. You're broke. You don't have wipers. <laughs> I'm down to record. I'm just, I need okay. a second because I'm like yeah. recovering from the whole concussion. Your car slash... didn't break. You're broke. Yes. I'm yes. broke and my car's fine. Okay. Suddenly I have a Mazda in better shape than me. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> messed up. Welcome back to Jake and Amir. Watch Jake and Amir. Uh, let's, oh, did you just kill something? Kill the mosquito, the... man. Really? Kill the mosquito. Yeah, that's wow. what's up. That's really hard. I've been having mosquitoes around here, and I've been clapping and looking, and my success rate's like 10%. Yeah, that's rare. That w What just happened was actually pretty fucking cool. Yeah. It was actually pretty fucking neat. So. And then it, sometimes they have, like, it's red blood, and I looked, and it's like, that's human blood in them. Did they have that? Did he right. have that? No. <laughs> no, because I got them quick. I got them real quick. <laughs> he didn't suck me at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay well nice uh yeah so this is a show about a show we're watching uh... leech on my neck <laughs> oh, it's eating me <laughs> bat <in> my ear <laughs> what is it with my blood So what do you, I guess, how do you imagine Cyphus behaving? What do you want Cyphus to do? I want him to be a little nefarious and kind of a dickling on the inside and out. But like <laughs> people actually think that he's kind because he's bald and speaks with a high pitched voice. <laughs> Hello. You're, is it, you're creating your second rogue, basically. Your, your second bald I, rogue. I'm a eunuch. <laughs> I'm a dickless man with a high pitched voice and a yeah. heart of coal. Then maybe actually, I think maybe a bard, because that's a bard is kind of like a musician, a singer, and they like spin their lies and like get you to believe oh, them and cool. follow them. Yeah, and yeah, I like that. All right, cool. Um, so let's let's make you a bard. If for somebody that's not playing a nefarious uh, person, uh, a bard is an inspiring magician whose power echoes the music of creation. Very very interesting. Okay. Um, so yeah, you Cyphus right. Cyphus the bard, something like that. That's nice. So yeah, so you would, you're yeah. a, you're a fallen Asimar named Cyphus who has a one man band. Yes, and no testes. <laughs> so don't get testes. <laughs> it does not have to be a eunuch. Okay, proficiencies. <laughs> I'm completely dickless on the day. As uh, Something like as that. right, I we can work on the voice, I guess. Um, so as and I have a harp. <laughs> okay, that's my question. Yeah, you get to choose an instrument. So you're going to choose. A harp. A harp with one string. Okay. Or okay. So that that'll be a lute, and you get another one. You get a like a bagpipe, bagpipes, a drum, dulcimer, a flute, a horn, <laughs> a lyre, a pan flute, a shawm, or a viol. <laughs> I'll choose the lyre because I am a liar. All right. So you have a lute and a lyre. Oh my God! You get a third <laughs> musical instrument. <laughs> Bagpipe, drum, dulcimer, flute, horn, pan flute, shawm, or vial. Maybe a vial, because you are vile. How about a... Yes, perfect. 
<laughs> you're embracing I'm a vile liar. You're with embracing a vile liar. I love it. You want to role play as Siphus. Hurts. All right, you're back. Yeah, Wait, so I need to see it. What's the hair tie? What's the do you borrow that from a lady or it's yours? No, I bought this on I bought it on Amazon. And what is it called? Uh, just a hair tie or something? Yeah, hair hair tie for men. Okay. I don't know why they specified that this hair tie was for men, but it made me feel better about buying it. <laughs> that's probably why, right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's that's up there. That's a top. The, yeah, that's a top knot. And then what I do you can do get with this the, stuff back there too, but it's not. Yeah, what do you do with the little mullet that, that then extends to the back? If I go if I go just ponytail, I can get the mullet stuff in the back up as well. Yeah, and I let's see what. Like, can I see what the full on pony looks like? Where the you're full just on like, pony. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is good. This is that Inigo Montoya shit. That's right. This is good. This is good fucking radio. Yeah. <laughs> so Jake is currently pressing all of his hair. Everything, everything is going, yeah, right to the back. He's got some strays in the back. But that's ultimately fine. That's part of the look. The po oh, that's pretty good. And you haven't done that probably ever, right? I mean, you have to teach yourself how to do that pony, right? Yeah. And then, huh. so, so <laughs> I see it now. So what's, when, when do you do that? When do you go full pony? Like, are you going out to dinner, drinks like that? Or no, is that just no. like an exercise thing? Just exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it in. Leave it in for the show. <laughs> I want to talk yeah. to Pony You're laughing. Jake. You're laughing. I'm, not, I'm just curious is all. You're Let's... poking fun at me. <laughs> I, really... I know Jake, but I've never met Jacob yeah. with the pony before. I want to see if he's like kind of a different guy with a different the pony, style. The ponies guy, his name is Jay. That's cool. We'll workshop it, yeah. But just yeah. like just to get us started, throw out some of this, some of the hashtags that you've been thinking of for Coca-Cola. <laughs> I must ash you as summer. <laughs> so it's like, if you know, Mo Movember. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. So this is, I must ash you as summer. And it's like, I don't know how it would even tie into <laughs> Coke is what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't make sense. But basically you would I have to. Ash you, it's the, so instead of a, like, I must ash you a question is, I guess the the pun i guess yeah but, but not you even said, I really must ash you, a, you summer? a summer so that's like a pun on a pun it doesn't make sense but it would basically be like you grow a mustache in honor of coke which again <laughs> nobody would know what the fuck that even means and then they could potentially put some sort of like sweepstakes under the labels which they would need years to plan let alone execute <laughs> so there's no there's not even a point to bring it up um but i did <laughs> i'm glad <laughs> yeah you're you're Thoughts? working against yourself through the pitch too I'm you're, like, yeah. I'm starting to backpedal where I feel like I'm so, being attacked. Yeah, you're hedging. It's like it's self, self defeatist. But yeah, no, yeah. I, that is bad. All right. Welcome to another Patreon Creator Chronicle. Uh, I wanted to give you a little bit of insight cool. into the creative process um, every once in a while. Yeah, before. Before we record, I write down just like what is that? Some random ideas. If you want to cover any Shamir, of this stuff, Sh Shamir Shay. This one, I mean, this week, I think you need a shave. I think that's your content idea. This is supposed to be like chronicling our creative journey to see what kind of. I think stuff the, we can well, make. I think actually, yeah. what's what's there's poison in that kind of okay, so. negativity and that shooting down of creative ideas. Because I think your beard, sorry. I think your beard's nasty, and I think it's yeah. ratty, and I think it's wiry, and I think okay. What's the second it would look idea? Better with a shave, I have, or by a, <laughs> or by me alone. These are, yeah, these it's are like weird requests. Not, this is not creative. This is not content. We're talking about like what we can make uh, for the patrons. Some behind the scenes look. This is just like a weird fucking vendetta slash wish list you have, where I shave and buy you a salad. 
Amir, I can't see that. What does it say? Hangs, hang, change shirt. Okay, thank you. I'll, yeah, again, not, not creative, not a chronicle. It just says Amir. Your shirt's nasty. <laughs> Your shirt's nasty. <laughs> You look bad today. And now we roll, right. right? And now we get into the comedy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Let's roll. So, so far in my head right now let's is that I have it. to shave. I should get you a lunch <laughs> and my shirt is bad. What do you, yeah, what's that? <laughs> That's music to your ears? Okay, let's, let's have, have fun. Let's right, remember yeah, to have a good time. Thank you for that. That was really illuminating. Yep. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers for that. All right, back with another behind the scenes look at the making of our Patreon channel. We oh, yeah. um, It's hard to mm -hmm. record remotely, obviously with lag and zooming, there's always gonna be a little bit of a delay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you gotta sync up. That's it's right, important. so usually a lot of people just go three, two, one and clap and that helps the editor put it together. It's not enough. So I thought it'd be fun, interesting to show you guys how we sync our footage. All right, ready Jake? Yeah, yep. Five, four, three, two, clap. Snap. Give a little ooh. I'm a chicken, chicken man. man. Sorry, let's get that clean. I'm a chicken man. man. Forehead twice. Forehead thrice. And, and now, now we're ready, ready to. You. I'm, I'm a chicken, chicken man. Chicken man. Let's just start. Right. This guy asks. What's a cooler name, Adam or Brennan? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm more of an Adam, but you're more of a Brennan, if that makes sense. Interesting. Like, yeah. I'm just a classic standard Jewish A with a Jewish nay. Mm -hmm. And you're like a little bit cooler, sort of off the beaten path. Not quite a Brendan. Yeah. No, you can't pull that off, can you? <laughs> you're trying you're to be a Brennan. Brennan. You, called me, you called me cooler. You say you're just description was uh, of us is that i was cooler god that's fucking that's so it's so sad Coming from an adam that means a lot that's a savage compliment does it change your answer especially does it change your answer knowing that the person who asked this question was named brennan of course it was. And Adam wouldn't even consider asking such a question. <laughs> is my is name strong. cooler than Adam Brennan? Is yeah. Adam is powerful. <laughs> Brennan is weird. Brennan I is am random. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I could be a Noah if you wanted to Noah. Really? So, like, you could be an Adam if you want. Like, I'll take Noah and you take yeah. Brennan or Adam. I think I could be Which an one Adam would you more want? so. Wait, Noah, Brennan, or Adam? Yeah. I could be the most the, of those three names that I could pull off the most. I think it's Adam. That's cool. I would want Noah. I can't pull off a Noah. <laughs> and you can't pull off a Noah, if I'm being very honest. <laughs> if I can be frank, if I can be so, candid with you. I, yeah. I came up with Noah. You and now you're come taking up with it Noah. From it's me. in the Bible. You didn't come up with shit. I, I know, but I said I wanted to be a Noah and you're not even you're not even taking it. Let me have Actually, it. Actually, I could be Noah. Now that I really think about it. <laughs> yeah. I get what's happening. You just you just wanted Noah. that name. No, uh, I think That's it's me. my name. <laughs> yeah. You're a damn Adam. Fine, let me be you're Adam. You're a damn Adam. <laughs> Um, like, like my name is Adam or <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like your name Adam. <laughs> All right. Uh, to warm up for our Patreon, just so we're on the same page. This is sort of something mm -hmm. we used to do during our live shows right before them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and the, it's, it's just word association. We're trying to arrive at the same word. So how does the, how does the game? So work? we need a, a leaping off point word uh -huh. and then, uh, I'll say like, uh, cheese, and then we say one, two, three, knife. Yeah, <laughs> you would. Yeah, we both talk at the same time. Yeah, and obviously. I would say cow, but yeah. we're we're ho we're hoping to get back right. to the same word. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so you ready? Yeah. Leaping off word is. All right. The leaping off word is boat. Okay. Okay. Boat. Okay. One, two, three. Sailing. Ocean. One, two, three. Sea. Water. One, two, three, Beach. sand. 
<laughs> Ooh, one, two, three. Towel. Towel. Nice. Yeah. We got there. Yeah. We're finally synced up. That's how you do it. And now that we wow. have that same brain energy, mm -hmm. we can start recording. So. Yeah. That's good advice, not just to Patreon creators, but collaborators in general. You want to make sure you're on the same wavelength before Get on that wavelength, you die. Baby. And it's especially important over Zoom because, you know, we're mm -hmm. thousands of miles apart, so it's important that we're connected as much as possible. That's right. Uh, cool. All right. Are you ready to record? Let's do it, baby. <laughs> That's it. There, that was the real office. I feel like I'm in Willy Wonka's porno factory. Everything smells... I remember genuinely being excited being here. Like, this is a place that you go to in your most intimate moments. I recognized this <laughs> place. They would shoot scenes all over this lot, you know? I, yeah. It, it was, I feel like it, it really is imagine. It's like I, how I imagine people feel when they go to Disney World or something. That was that for me. I never had that. Well, I mean, they're both sort of in Central Florida, so it makes sense. Yeah, but could have gone to both. I, look how happy I am right there. You know, <laughs> actually, this is the, this is the best acting I've ever done because inside I'm screaming with joy. <laughs> what makes a was turkey it, BLT a club? Is it just the shape of it, or yeah, the third piece of? Bread? I think it was like a style that it was served at a club as like a finger sandwich with with the with the big uh, triangle and the and the pick and the That's cool. and the two tall. The, the two tall stack. You're getting of chips meat. on the side or fries on the side or maybe some rye. <laughs> There's a rye, a rye, rye bread with rice and fries on the side. <laughs> You're holding a gun to the teller. Get a, let me get a rye bread and some rice and fries on the side. I'm at the clubhouse talking to a caddy. <laughs> I just did a back nine and now I want some rice and fries and bread on the side, rye. Yeah, we're close. You're my guy. <laughs> I think this could be an episode where I get the golden mic or not. Like, <laughs> and, that, and that's a turdy. And that's a turdy. Oh and that is a turdy. Why? <laughs> yeah. What happened? That's a turdy. You called you for coaxed. it. You don't call for it. You don't call, you don't fucking ask for it like that. I wanted to move past fucking, it. Let's just cut this part out. Re <laughs> slice up. No, pizza. read the That's read not... the read the question. Let's go. First question. Scoop uh, of mashed potatoes. You don't just ask for it. Say, hey, can I have an award? No. I didn't say that. No, you were, it's tacky. <laughs> it's tacky. Who's the oldest person in your life that you consider a friend? Hmm. Interesting. Family doesn't count. Family doesn't count. My yeah. oldest friend. See, you don't even have to answer. All I was looking for was the mm, interesting. And that's and that felt like a win to have it I that mean, way. Yeah. If that makes sense. I don't love the question. That I'm was just, perfect. I'm, I'm being like performative because it's like a video podcast. I mean like the oldest Let's friend. Let's actually take that, I have that again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you wanna because you wanna cut out this part where I don't love the question? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do the, hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. That's actually I really mean, you already got that. If that's all you need, you already have that. You have that Let's footage. get really interesting as an option. You have, I... Who, Jake, is your oldest friend? That's a dumb question. Let's see, though. I can, I'll try to fart out an answer because it was a <laughs> pretty stupid question. We can jump right in. The second question is biggest weaknesses, if you... Yeah. Um, I figured. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I think, I mean, I don't have, I have like thin ankles, so like I don't have a lot of stability in my legs, so like my legs yeah. and glutes could be stronger, but I, I bike a lot. I've been trying to... I was going to say you're incapable of answering a question seriously uh, with some of your closest friends. You're not really comfortable being vulnerable around people. So what were you going to say? What was your answer? I said thin ankles. <laughs> You know, cankles, I have thankles. <laughs> and I'm not thankful an for thankless. these thankles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely thankless for these thankles. All right, ask me one of your questions. Whose sweater was that? That's mine. I've had that for you a while. Do you still have it? You own that. Oh, yeah. Still got it. But I've seen like similar sweaters, but that one seems pretty unique. I'm a sweater guy. Love me my sweaters, but that one's very... Yeah, that one got claimed as dubs since the... <laughs> from the first episode. <laughs> I really that. liked it. I'm like, well, now I'm not wearing it because if I did and a Dubes fan saw it, they'd be like, no, nah, my brain, it melts, you're real. <laughs> Seeing you in the I wild die. in that sweater would be so Yeah, in the wild. <laughs> Have you never worn it since? 
No, not not for human consumption. Do you still have it? Yeah. It's around, I think it's around somewhere. There was a move uh, last year that I think it's arrived. They're going to make a Jake and Amir Museum. You could give it to them for the Jake and Amir Museum. That's right. Yeah. They are going to make a Jake and Amir Museum? They are, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just Jake's basement. <laughs> they had John and John Carlo. <laughs> you only have one brain, one heart. If your heart gets pierced, it's not like, oh, I should have a second heart just in case, a backup heart. Yeah, sure, that would be better. Yeah, having so if like you a shoot me in the chest, I'm like, <gasps> that was oh, close. Thank God I have a heart in my calf as well. <laughs> and I have two lungs here and two in my ass cheeks. <laughs> and I have four ass cheeks and a four heads. And I shit out my belly button. <laughs> and also I have two ass dimples that are other belly buttons. <laughs> so you're two people at once. Don't call me four eyes because I actually have six eyes. The glasses, yes, very funny, har har. But then the two eyes, and then I have two <laughs> two eyes on my meatus. That's right, a meatus callback. <laughs> I hope you were listening a couple weeks ago, and I hope we released that episode first. <laughs> Most importantly, I hope we released that episode first. Uh, all right, let's get to some questions. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird rapper. Oh, God! Another spit. See, imagine being able to breathe right now. You wouldn't have to spit onto the ground. Right? Like, imagine breathing through your nose right now. Look at me. Imagine breathing through your nose. Wouldn't that feel awesome? Look. Wouldn't you feel good right now? I really almost threw up that time, man. I really almost puke. You think in an infinite, in like in an infinite timeline, we'll have a president named Yuck Yuck? Yeah, because in an infinite timeline, everything happens. Wow. <laughs> Do you think in an infinite timeline we'll have a president named Yuck Yuck and he'll eat his own shit during a debate to be elected? Yeah, because it's you know if time is truly infinite, which you are postulating that it yeah, is, time is, the infinite. universe grows and expands ad infinitum. I think any permutation of U.S. and world history can and will and has happened. So the yuck yuck thing is happening. The eating mm -hmm. the shit happens. It's happening during a debate. Yeah, televised. during a debate. Well, sometimes it's televised, sometimes yeah. it's just a radio debate. Right, yuck yuck was like, yeah. this is what I think of your policy. That's right. <laughs> yuck yuck. <laughs> yeah, and he's the president in this specific universe. Right. Crazy. Yeah, it's cool. All right. He's number 29 in that one. Calvin Coolidge writes, Imagine yeah. there's documents and Chinese food all over the table. Okay. All right, all right. And then say I just Josh. I don't see I don't see the case. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, we can uh, we can figure something out. I just <laughs> pass me the rice. The what? There, you said there's Chinese food. Oh yeah, so, empty like, boxes. I'm just doing, like, scene. Oh okay, there's empty boxes. <laughs> you shouldn't be worried about <laughs> eating say, rice. I just want to get in character. Say the cases. There's no case. The case is like this. Uh, your wife's been murdered. Okay, and you have to. We're and then trying we're to like, and there, out, and, yeah, and there's and right, everyone so, thinks it's you. So right. like the okay, case so, is us trying to yeah. figure out if there's. All any, right. So like, then you say like, where's there's no case anymore. We don't have a chance. I just I don't I don't think we have a chance. We have no case. <sighs> God damn it. What do you think? We gotta clean up this friggin' low main. <laughs> What's damn that? It. I'm trying to figure out who we can uh if we can find the rightful murderer. Is there any more rice? <laughs> rice? No, there's no more rice. Uh, I'm sorry, but I feel like cleaning up the low main is the least of our concerns here. You're uh you're on trial for your Pass life. Me the here. Kung Pao. No, <laughs> no more food, all right? You will you really wanted to order food. By the way, it's three. We have sandwiches at 1.30. We got a fucking full I'll feast. I'll get a postmate. <laughs> you won't stop eating Chinese food. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, I'll do uh I'll, I'll do yeah, I'll, I'll I'll do a chicken fried rice. <laughs> you already ordered a a, pint a general of so <laughs> and I didn't kill my wife. What if you just block him on Facebook? I that well then I think that your friends and family will see what a doofy is and, and that that then you get held in a lower regard. <laughs> so, did you yawn? Am I boring you? Uh, no. Am I that, boring you, Blumenfeld? You were screaming at me all night. To take on this? <laughs> no, I'm just tired. Why don't we yeah. shut off the cameras? <laughs> Why? Because uh, you need a fucking cat nap. <laughs> yeah? Does Amir need to go night night? No. You need a lullaby? No. Baby wants his baba? I could use a baba, but I don't Are need any of that. Are you a little crabby? No, I'm Amir's not. Amir's getting fussy because he's a little tired. You're fussy. You're crabby. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Well, I guess I need a fucking nap. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it's a habit. That was so fast to have it. And now, and now you're power napped out. You have a coffee. Kofefe. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is what your last Facebook post say. <laughs> but first, Kofefe. 
Kafefe, <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Yeah, or maybe like keep keep an eye on maybe he's doing other things. Like maybe he's wearing a wig. Like you know how like they used to wear fucking wigs in Parliament. Mm. This guy comes strolling in and he has like a nice, really long white wig. That's yeah. like a so that's keep kind an of eye out. Tell. Just like see if you notice that he's yeah. wearing a powdered wig. <laughs> like wait a minute, are those? Is that a powdered wig and wooden yeah. teeth? He would. <laughs> nice man. <laughs> How'd you find me? <laughs> Powder everywhere. And white face with a painted mole. <laughs> Why the powder on the wig? Just have a wig. Why do they need powdered wigs? Yeah. And why the wooden teeth? It was a powder move. What's that? A power move? <laughs> no, I don't get it. The awards is not getting taken away for anything. That was fine, fun. Okay, here we go. This was a very common question. Amir, does your personality in any way resemble the Amir in Jake and Amir? Um, that's a, what did you, did you answer that? No, I didn't. But I felt like that was the number one classic question we got, which was like, is he really like that? Is he really like that? Was Jake and Amir yeah. a documentary about your lives? You know what? Funny, like, I feel like at the time I didn't think you were like that. But now the more I've gotten to know you, I do think sometimes you're like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> like what? <laughs> uh, you're thin-skinned, no, needy, I'm not. angry, uh, Shut small, the fuck petty. Up. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Selfish. You think I'm thin-skinned? Uh, Why don't you give me yeah. one more insult and see how I handle it? By popping uh, you mean, in the fucking jaw. I, I will send your dad anthrax did move a lot. to your Your dad moved your family around a lot as a he kid. Moved and he moved 12 has very times. Thin legs. That's right. <laughs> And we followed him each and every one. God, what an insane! That's such a, a crazy bit. Your dad was so 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 upset that he moved. <laughs> so he left us a lot. Basically, it was shrouded in uh, sadness. We, he moved the whole family. A grilled jizz sandwich. Remember a grilled jizz sandwich? God, what a fucking mess we created. Got a twenty-sided die here. Okay. It's this so is small. the D and D die. Okay. This is quintessential. It's not a ball. It's yeah. It's a dodecahedron. Okay. okay? <laughs> or a decahedron. Yeah. Anyway, I think there's twenty sides. Is Twelve. To it. Yeah. Okay. Let's let the fates. That's a sixteen. Let's let the fates decide if we do this episode at all. So if it's an odd number, we'll just turn off the camera right now and not have an episode this week that's not how the DD rules would work we're gonna see if we succeed or fail oh, okay okay based on this role we're gonna do the episode but are we gonna do it good or are we gonna do it bad okay what okay. are we hoping for i would say let's just go let's go pure luck just needs to be over a 10 okay okay it's a coin flip what if it's a 10 it's a 14 so you don't have to worry about what if it's a 10 and if it was a 10 we would have succeeded we're in Ah. <laughs> oh shit. You you rolled a two. I think I can't do it today. <laughs> you obviously hurt your shoulder before. I'm choking on a die. <laughs> but I think it's a twenty. I always loved that, um, like writing that stuff into Jake and Amir's when people would celebrate because you were sad or hurt or dead or like two of the ones that come to mind are in fired when uh, you like walk out crying with like your box of stuff and then instantly yeah. there's like a huge party. Um, <laughs> the other one is uh, during the uh, LA series, uh, Ricky is like, some people have to move to LA. We're going to draw it out of a hat. He passes the hat to Dave Rosenberg who pick, who opens it up and says, the bitch got LA. <laughs> <laughs> everyone everyone instantly cheers and starts partying. Alex Sundin writes, what is a talent slash skill you wish you had? That's easy. I wish I could dunk a basketball. Just go up and jam at home. One-handed, two-handed, it, it doesn't matter. Feeling the rim on my hands, throwing it down like a man. Nothing is you, better you than that like... feeling, and I'll never have it. I will never have it, regardless of how, then how do you know anything short better the than rim it? is. You can lower it down to seven feet and I still couldn't yam at well, home because I'm afraid of hitting my teeth on the fucking net. <laughs> <laughs> and you have hit your teeth on the net, right? And I hit my gums on the board. <laughs> what are you doing? Juggling do... four bowling pins or some shit? No, I'll do dunk too. <laughs> but I I'll do reverse. dunk also. <laughs> uh, no, I'd like to be able, I really think I would like to be able uh, to sing. Like, 
not to just sing, but to like have music ability to be talented with <laughs> <laughs> with tunes. You want to be that smarter be nice. too, right? No, I think I'm <laughs> good there. Uh, yeah, tune talented would be solid. Uh, Singing, guitar, or what? Singing, guitar, piano, drums. I'd really like to have better like music timing. That's cool. Like, you know that like um, the the Queen song that's like boom boom tsh, boom boom. Tsh. Yeah, and, we will rock you. Yeah, like that's one of the easiest ones because you do stomp stomp <laughs> clap stomp stomp clap right and then you sing over that and you yeah. do the we will rock you over that and, and you never know I, when to start singing i can't do that i can do one of the two things not together all right let's hear you try it would be fun to hear I, you try that i don't know but it'll be embarrassing so like you're not going to go out in your yard and try to dunk a basketball so we can't see how how shabby you are at that yeah, I can't but even I'm, like touch the rim. I have to expose myself. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just? Well, why don't you try to jump in the space that you're in right now? Okay, buddy, you're a make a big I think dunk. that was right. <laughs> that was the right time to start. Yeah, but the I lyrics were wrong. Going. He's about to do something crazy. No, <laughs> the that coins. was back when we used to fill your coins. Yeah, we would fill your pockets with change every single time you were like on the ground or getting up or sitting down. <laughs> Why did we lose that? That was a solid running bit. It really was. <laughs> I just have loose change in my fucking deep cargo pockets. <laughs> so much coins <laughs> spilling out. <laughs> just pennies and nickels up to the brim. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you collect I, we, we should have just done like a a postscript of you just collecting all of the coins and putting it back i remember for that <laughs> bit i had that. to hold i had to hold them because like they wouldn't actually spill out of my pocket so like i was gonna flip onto the bag and hold <laughs> the coins and just like release them onto the wooden floor <laughs> yeah i'm also pretty sure this is your fantasy so it's funny that even in the fantasy <laughs> you lose the coins onto the love sack remember that giant beanbag chair that we God, had that thing is foul there i slept on that love sack many nights all right um you can't shoot on location anymore as you know that's right that's right so this is sort of the home office setup that very nice yeah very professional it. we got the mic Not flimsy that's, at all yeah this is on on the stand so like i can't move this mic it's it's locked in yeah. standing desk that i built recently so we can go up or down if necessary mic of course goes into the zoom recorder mm -hmm. yeah it's plugged into next to the photo of us plugged into the desk we've got two zooms going at all times yeah because of course while we're recording we also have to zoom with each other there's jake right now see that Hola. yeah there's you and then if we yep. zoom out it's the video we're watching while we're watching it you record your end i record mine of course john Grimm, our producer editor puts it all together to make the magic happen mm -hmm. uh all right let's record we'll show you guys maybe the, the finished product on our patreon Fucking what? staring at me, you pervert. <laughs> You're getting shy. We're just we're doing the intro to the I show. Know, we're doing song. the intro. We're You're staring at me and smiling. Undressing me with your eyes. I feel pretty fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> Undressing you with your mind. We eyes. won't keep this part in. But we well, have. Yeah, we should not keep this don't part in. Don't stare at me. <laughs> Wait, you're staring at my nipples and my <laughs> smile. Ugh. I don't have to undress anything to see your smile. You haven't smiled. Like <laughs> you think every time I I'm, I'm not attracted to you in any way yeah, at all, right. physically or emotionally. The you're, song came on and all I saw was your eyes on my gums. You're an ugly piece of shit. <laughs> you are an ugly piece of shit. I wouldn't undress. If anything, I would dress. Wow. I throw a blanket over you with my eyes. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> nice. Do you want to take this again so you don't look like a freak? <laughs> Do you want to take the intro again so you don't come across like some kind of weird, desperate loser? 
with a vendetta against me for some reason? No, I don't think okay. I want to do that either. All right. All right, last week I showed you my at-home setup. Now I'm curious, Jake, what is your at-home Patreon setup? I'd love to show you. Okay, so we've got, um, I guess, much like you, uh -huh. we've got the mic, we've got the mic arm, we've got the, we've got Blumenfeld on the computer. Yeah. We have the Zoom. We have um, a tiny little windowless room in yeah. my basement. Um, soundproof. Which, it's soundproof. I painstakingly. Uh, glued all of these panels onto the wall here. Wow. Uh, they're they're not coming off. Whoever owns this place next will inherit the panels. Um, and, and how is that ventilation wise? Because I know you said there's no window and you were dealing with a lot of glue there. there. Correct, yeah, there is, there's this vent there. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure if it, um, it seems like it doesn't work because it's freezing in here. Yeah. So I don't think it's, pushing any air around at all. I should also mention that it is, uh, it is February, I'm on the East Coast. Uh, this room is nine degrees. Nine. I can believe that. Yeah, I can yeah. see your breath. Nine. Right. <sighs> yeah. I'm on a swivelly chair, or a, That's fun. Um, a spinning chair, which is good, yeah. And you can, I actually, you, can you can be down there for hours at a time. That's sick. Um, yeah, um, I can be down here for hours at a time. Not in a healthy way, but in a necessary way, okay. as it were. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's let's frame up and uh, record some Patreon. Let's do it. Boom. That's a grade A episode. <laughs> um, there were two things that I that came to mind. One was what was like the original. Uh, I'm getting into hobbies. Then you name something that wasn't a hobby, like yeah. raisins. Yeah. Not really a hobby, but I'm into craisins, really. I think recently. the first one was um, was IT guy. Was oh, that, I think that was the first time. Cranberry raisins. Yeah, like, <laughs> you're, you're teasing. You're teasing him that he doesn't have any hobbies. <laughs> like you, loser. I bet you don't have any hobbies. And he, he likes swimming. Yeah. And then you, <laughs> I say one of yours, and you say craisins. <laughs> so his is swimming, which is a nice, healthy hobby. Mm -hmm. Mine is eating dry cranberries. That's right. <laughs> and then what's the other thing that came to mind? Um, I think, and this must be a you thing, but every time you have something in your mouth, like when you're doing your lines, <laughs> like with your mouth filled with dirt, or when you had like the grill or the braces, <laughs> you take on a southern accent for some <laughs> reason. Yeah. Imagine it's like, the water and she's like, so! <laughs> yeah. Why is that? I don't know, maybe it's harder for me to talk the way I talk with something impeding me. So I, I'll, I'll, I just loosen my jaw and talk with a southern drawl. <laughs> yeah. I really also, like I'm wearing it. a straw hat, so it felt like part of the character. I see. I was I, a southern I, farmer that day. You think it's that, you think it's that kind of like method acting? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I think it's the first one. That actually was manure, I have to confess. Nose is the thing and nostril is the hole. For ear, it's the thing and the hole. What I'm supposing Did you say is ear hole or ear canal? <laughs> I need a separate word for the hole of the ear. Okay. The bidding starts at nostril. <laughs> you want to call it nostril you could call it your ear nostril that's pretty cool or ear stroll for sure ear stroll yeah is there a scientific word for an ear hole scientific word for There's ear hole definitely one what do you think it could be e ear canal uh, the outer aperture of the no it just says ear hole it says ear hole on Wikipedia it does what is what? your ear hole called? any any joker can edit a Wikipedia though Oh, this is pretty good. Oh, you can call it your ear anus. Your first, <laughs> it's close. Your first or outermost hole is known as the external auditory metis. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine an anus so beefy it can only be described as a metis. Sorry, uh, I, I forgot my, my AirPods. Can I, can I stick your AirPods in my metis? I need to put your pod into my metis. Because I'm listening to a podcast. And the only way to consume auditory content is through the meatus. I met you the first time we were like pitching for High Times editorial office. Oh yeah, you, this is a very I, nice story. I was an intern and like, I was so shy. And I said like one thing and Ben just goes, that's really funny. And I was like, that 
made me just like fucking glow. But you were like the first guy that like was nice and encouraged my comedy. You're very kind. You told me that for the first time and I felt very emotional. Cause you're talking about like, it's just, I just started off and finally someone's like, you did something yeah. good and it made you feel like you could pitch more right. and all that I was, stuff. it like helped my confidence a lot. So why instead of paying it forward, are you nasty to all the other Yeah, you're mean. Things? Yeah, well like, I don't that's want- That's not funny, that's not good. That's when I'm mean to people, that <laughs> elevates me. You, right. I I'm stand that's on your yeah. back yeah. and I become yeah. greater. And, but what about everybody elevating when Ben did that, when yeah. Ben reached his <laughs> yeah. hand and lifted Pulled me you up, out of the muck, yeah. I said, "You idiot! Oh, you really? You a fool! Bad. I made a mistake. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. You created a monster, basically. Well, you know what? He's very successful, and he got married. All right. Uh, wow. I want to tell her how I feel, and that I never stopped liking her, even when I found an interest in other women. Do you think I should send the following text? <laughs> Great. So this 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 question is a yes or no. <laughs> That's right. Hey, I want you to know some things, and I want to try to make th some things clear. I can understand why you wouldn't want to be around someone who's moody. I don't think I am. And if I was, <laughs> then I think you need to be more understanding and forgiving. Oh, I wow. Do, <laughs> I do get very excited and happy when I'm around you, or even just thinking about you. I do like you very, very much. And I never got over you from a million years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the best <laughs> and I have never and will never meet or be able to be with someone of your incredibleness. I think that you are too insecure. for <laughs> You're the best. And here's the, my big problem. I think that you're too insecure for your own good. And that needs to stop. <laughs> this is all one text. <laughs> And that needs to stop completely. <laughs> oh. It ke keeps going. Um, I know you've probably had a million guys say this kind of stuff. No. And they've probably <laughs> said it and been a million times better. But... <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> but I need to. <laughs> He's such a bad writer. <laughs> <laughs>